1820, Henry Buck came to Conway from Bucksport, Maine. He found a wealth of timber and shipbuilding on the Waccamaw River and never left. His descendants still live in the house he originally built and carry on the Buck family tradition and legacy. Well, they have been very important and still are. In the early days, when Henry Buck had those large plantations and was involved in the lumber industry, he would bring down um, people to work and build ships and buildings. And Conway benefited in a lot of ways because the people who were brought down from New England to work over there and build buildings came to Conway and built some of the buildings here in town. Uh, he invested in businesses in Conway and his descendants are around today and still are large landowners and uh, own property in the downtown area and are still involved in the economics of Conway as well as the county. Henry Buck was successful for several reasons. Among the most important was how he treated his employees, which at the time were actually slaves. He had paid his slaves and paid them well uh, because he being a northerner knew that uh, the they would be more productive workers if they were paid. They had an incentive to, to work. One site that is on the road coming in is the site of the slave cemetery, which is still used by the uh, folk who were originally here. But it is the original slave cemetery. Several other original sites still exist from the historical Upper Mill Plantation. But to the Buck family, it's just home. They returned to Conway in 1984 to restore the early 19th century farmhouse. The house was left to my husband by his grandfather, and we wanted to restore the house. My husband had always wanted to live here on the river. It seemed to call to him. Well, this is where my roots were, and uh, I had always dreamed of moving back up here. We have a commissary, which was the, the place where the commodities for the farm were kept for the slaves who were on the property. We have the chimney, which is the first steam-generated lumber mill site in the southeastern part of the United States. The chimney is still here on the property. We love it, and uh, it's home and we live in every inch of it, and, and uh, we hope that our children and their children will have, keep that love for this place and will always keep it in the family, as it has been since 1828. I was very lucky to have grown up here. Um, you know, a, lot of, a lot of my friends didn't have the opportunities that I had, you know, to live on a farm and, and have horses and be able to just pretty much be turned loose and you know, have the run of the place. I feel very blessed and, and very honored um, to be, you know, part of this family and, and to, uh, you know, be able to, to say, you know, hey, I'm, I'm a part of this and I, you know, I've got stories to tell and, and you know, this is, this is my legacy.